Good morning. I forgot to tell you good night, internet. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I edited my video last night. <laughs> Voice gone. I edited my video last night uh, for vlog one, and I was trying to get it to upload, and I, I did what I normally do, which is I leave it to upload overnight while I'm asleep, and when I woke up, it had failed. So, there you go. I tried again this morning, and I was at like 5% after an hour, so I was just like, you know what? It's not gonna happen today. So, uh, I have packed up, and we are gonna go do a quick grabbing breakfast, and then we're going to drop our bags at Tox's hotel because he has been nice enough to let, give us his stuff so we can do that. And then we gotta go do the con. Last day, last day of packs. Let's do this. Day three. The hall opens in an hour. I'm wandering away from our booth. So I showed you guys yesterday this. So today I'm gonna walk up with no people. So um, that is the tabletop uh, showcase. There are eight games there. And then we have the Mayfair booth right here. And then we have Sentinels over there with their iPad hookup and all their tables. We walk over and say hi. The Geek Chic right there. So yeah, let's see if uh, Sentinels want to say hi. Three packs, how you holding up? I'm exhausted. Yeah? Yeah, it's a blast though. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I'll do it again. <laughs> You'll do every pack. So don't you guys go to every yeah. pack? Oh, yeah. Everyone. You, you go to Australia, too? Oh, yeah, yeah. They should have cots for us to sleep on. Let's, you guys want to wander over? Let's wander over to the tabletop section that I showed you guys yesterday. Um, the Valve store is right here and they've got it covered up and they have this giant unicorn floating above it. You've probably seen it in my videos, but the unicorn horn is deflated and he's the saddest, he's the saddest unicorn ever. <laughs> I just feel bad for him. But uh, yeah, so this is Mind the Gap, Dodgeball. Like I was showing you guys yesterday, Magic. I'm gonna go get some, some packs today because I, I don't have any other packs yet. Um, there's those, there's the Reaper booth, Kodos, Munchkin, Patrick, way over there. So, Ad Magic's on the other side of Reaper, I believe. No, Ad Magic's right there. So, yeah. This is that. I went by the Magic booth. Got me my Magic decks. Every. Oh, there. This side's more interesting. Magic decks. Every packs, they have these packs, and uh, every year it's a. Uh, different set and this is the 2015 set so have to get it have to get it went by and saw the reaper booth i love I, they're so nice i've never painted minis before now and like i went and did the thing and now i'm addicted so yep all right so i'm sitting down we've got like 30 minutes before expo opens and i'm gonna check out we have a neighbor so we're actually our booth's right through there so we've been like shoving their walls and stuff all Oh god! So I'm gonna come over and we're gonna play their games. So this is Bring Your Own Book, and uh, yeah, by Do Better Games, and we're gonna we're gonna play this. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Matthew Moore, and I'm the designer for uh, Bring Your Own Book, uh, which is the the first um, board game card game product from from Do Better Games, which is my little company with my friend Adrian. Uh, this is my wife, um, who helped do the design and has been enormously supportive. Uh, I'm Miranda, uh, and this is our artist, uh, Luke Yonker. Uh, <laughs> Luke is the guy who's responsible for our ultra classy uh, Bring Your Own Book logo. I love the logo. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, we get all the uh, ultra classy. I like, love that classy. shirt. It's brilliant. You want one of these? I'll give you one of these later. Oh, uh, awesome. Right. Um, so, the, uh, so, yeah, we're in the middle of our Kickstarter right now, and it's been, we have been blessed by having enormously supportive and excited people because they come by and see our bookcase. Uh, and they're like, a game with books? Let's hang out with you guys. Um, so yeah, we'd love to show you how, how it plays. Yeah, I want to play. Okay, Let's oh, play. Uh, bringyourownbook.com. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing Tom Clancy's Net Force Hidden Agendas. Luke, which book yeah. are you doing? Jeffrey Ar Ar Archer, The 11th Commandment. What do you got, Ed? Sword of Shame. There you go. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and use the hammer. This is uh, Ryan North's To Be or Not To Be, the Choose Your Own Adventure Hamlet. Oh, there you go. Book one, Sky, uh, Spy Goddess. 
All right. There it's we been go. surprisingly good. Also, I just want to say for their booth, I asked. I got the scoop. They had the bookcase, Amazon, and set up to enforce that it was local. It was super, yeah, awesome. And then, like, all these books are from Half Price Bookstore. Um, well, most of them. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they they have, like, decked out their, their booth. So now that was just me, like, you guys did great with this. All right, now let's, let's play. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been super, um, people have been very helpful. I just wanted to say thanks to our enforcer, uh, Isteroth. Um, who helped build the book uh, case and has been great about checking in with us. Um, also, our neighbor uh, Tim Fowers uh, from Paperback, um, uh, he helped build the book case too and has been very nice to us like newbies. Um, okay, so game, this is how it works. Uh, everybody has a book, uh, there's a stack of cards. The stack of cards has two prompts on them and it plays, uh, we have three different rule sets, but the basic one plays just kind of like Apples to Apples or Cards Against Humanity, social games you've already played, where there's a judge and they draw off the top card. I'll be the first judge. Uh, and they pick one of the two prompts. Uh, so advice for graduating seniors or something Arnold Schwarzenegger would say. Um, now I saw a giggle, so I'm probably gonna do advice, uh, something that Arnold Schwarzenegger would say. So now, everyone has to look in their books for any amount of sequential text. Uh, one word, two words, part of a sentence, a whole sentence. As long as it's sequential, you can read it. You can ignore punctuation, just find those words, and it should be something you could hear Arnold Schwarzenegger say. And when the first person finds it, say, I got it. All right. This is the most I've ever read of Tom Clancy, I'm just saying right now. <laughs> it's going down, oh, no. Unless you're fat. <laughs> Now listen, and listen carefully. Oh. That's, pretty, that's pretty solid. Yep. Uh, the city water conduits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I gotta give it to that because I love it when Arnold Schwarzenegger says specific things. The best one I ever heard was actually delivered by Miranda and it was, tell me everything you know about the Chicago Symphony. <laughs> 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 All right, so then the next person uh, draws a card. Uh, something as true today as it was in caveman times. Smear the bugu around! <laughs> Burst of loud laughter. Uh, so we need more time. Oh, yeah? The adventure is being chosen by you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I have to give it to uh, Life is a Chooser and Adventure. Yeah! I'm gonna do that one, all right. Dialogue from a badly translated JRPG. <laughs> all right, this is a card uh, that I made uh, special for PAX. Uh, there's a set of five of them that I mixed into the standard print and play that you can download at bringyourownbook.com. I'm gonna put these up on the website <laughs> soon because people have really liked them, particularly the one that is dialogue that the Halo announcer would say. Oh, that one's really good, that one's good. I got it. Oh, you only have a minute now. I think I got this. You got him? You got it already? I think I did. Uh, okay, I got it. Oh, from the look on Miranda's face, she's got it better. Group of 41, you can virtually guarantee who. <laughs> the sound of thunder is staggering. Knock yourself out. <laughs> and you believed it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, build up of that was great. Uh, I gotta give it to Ed. I gotta yeah. give it to Ed. Yeah. Yeah. Card. Yeah. I want this. <laughs> the book of the game. The game. <laughs> That's basically it. When somebody gets to three cards, whenever anybody gets to three cards, we all pass our books one to the left to keep somebody from like having like the good book all the game long, or you know, Ed would eventually have to wind up with Archer. Uh, and then yeah. it's, there's sort of a delight in like dropping the bomb on your friends. Um, and then you can play, uh, you play to four or five cards depending on the number of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then there are two other rule sets. I like it. I like it. I think this would be interesting. Uh, maybe figure out a book club variant. Yeah. All right, check it out. Their Kickstarter is up right now, and I have to go uh, on the other side of the wall and do booth stuff now. PAX is starting, day three. I, uh, we're doing a different photo shoot thing today, so I'm changing lenses, and I'm gonna be focusing on the table today, so now I get to reassemble my camera. 
I love that about this camera. I feel like it's like a special transformer. Awesome. Uh oh. Uh oh. I know these fools. Uh oh. I know this foreman. Apparently there's some issue with the construction of this booth or in this area. I don't I don't really know. Oh no. Yeah, I got it. Oh no. It's like he's played this once or twice. Wait a minute. That's supposed to be Adel 9, not C9. That blueprint looks familiar for me. No, I mean the whole the whole building is it's, it's going this way. It needs to go this way, yeah. No, we gotta get this fixed before PAX starts. Yeah, yeah. Well, PAX has started. Well, I mean, we're running a little behind. But uh, you know, I think I think that if we can we can get enough extra people on our oh maybe this is where the hyper drive is supposed to be. Oh right. We thought it was over there, but they were they had low barrier. <laughs> I need to order lunch, so I need to go someplace quieter. So I went to the Diversity Lounge, where they have these nice bean bags and some really awesome booths with some vendors about diversity and gaming and comics and just nerd culture. <laughs> it's a great space, especially when you're exhausted and you want to be someplace quiet. So I'm taking a break. Uh, my voice is it's gone. Uh, street passing today. Is it obvious on deck? Five more minutes, man. Five more minutes. My friend Tina is hooking us up. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mega Rain cop drops. <laughs> yes, thank you. Huh? This is Odyssey from Twitter, by the way. Hi. <laughs> She's an enforcer here in the uh, diversity lounge. So, I, I'm taking advantage of her goodwill. <laughs> Sleeping in someone's house entitles them to their goodwill. That's good. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Thank you. All right, so now that I'm not laying down, I can give you a better view of the, the diversity lounge. Just give you a nice swing through. It's a nice chill place. It's got the hook up. All right, back to work. Back to work. Almost died. Copy duty? I no, I got it, I got it. So uh, this is the handheld lounge. There's some beanbags you can rent games. There's tournament street passing. Oh, that's Like impromptu tournaments, sessions playing. It's just like grab a beanbag, sit down, clear your street pass. If you want to borrow a game you've never played, you can. You can borrow a uh, handheld game, give it a shot, etc. The really cool thing is I once did that, and they don't clear the games between whatever. So it's basically like, if you're playing a campaign game, it's like you're campaigning all of PAX, like, through this one cartridge. It's super awesome. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is just a hallway that we're going to get to the front of the expo so we can walk through the expo and, and get, like, the full effect, because they haven't been in the expo. Yeah, whereas I've been in the back show. So I'm just going back to the booth the long way with them, basically. So we just came down. Uh, so this is the exit to Main Theater, and something just let out. That's just chaos. So they're, they're, I think that's the line for Main Theater. Oh, we got an Attack on Titan cosplay. Nice and creepy. Um, so this, this is Bandland. So it used to just be indie bands that you can come in. Uh, but there's also some web comics artists here. So it's just a nice big space. You can come. Hey! <laughs> that person was also doing a video chat. They were FaceTiming somebody and showing them the con. That was hilarious. <laughs> so uh, now we're in like the main area. I think you guys saw this on one of my vlogs. So they got the main verge over there, and then they got the entrance to the expo hall. So I'm gonna try and give you guys a quick run through of the whole field, basically. Boy.
that was basically, that was the whole front of Expo down the main hallway. There's lots of lines as you saw, but uh, now we're back. Now we are back. Back home again. Great adventure! <laughs> I love the cosplayers. I love the cosplayers. Blah, 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 blah. Always bring a water bottle to cons. While I'm standing in a somewhat quiet alcove, <clears throat> I just uh, I just found out that all the hotels for Jim Connor are gone. I thought it was a lottery, but I guess it's a lottery and how fast you can get to it. It's ridiculous. We're not gonna just like nitpick it. We're gonna look at Constellation. So if you wanna go to Jim Con and you can't get a hotel room, uh, check out Airbnb. Uh, there's also some other sites where you can rent spaces and room. Uh, check out couchsurfing.org. Uh, a lot of people couch surf and stuff like that. Check out um, smaller hotels for their way where you can drive. There is parking at the con. Um, there's also some public transportation. I don't know if I would depend on it for Gen Con, but you could. There's Lyft at Gen Con and Uber, so you can get quick, somewhat cheaper rides in. So there's options if you can't get super close to the hotel. And uh, but yeah, so there are options. Don't feel defeated. If you want to go to Gen Con, you can figure it out. Um, yeah, but now I have water. My voice is gone. All right, back to the booth. It is 15 till five, which means the con closes in an hour and 15 minutes and Etta has to go to the airport at five. So I am setting up to be all by my own sim. So we have broken down the demo. We're no longer gonna demo. Though I might change that. Uh, so now we're just gonna talk and explain to the end of the con. Um, so yeah, uh, I am no longer going to be able to explore stuff at the con here in a minute. So I am going to go and quickly do a thing before Ed has to leave. Um, so this has been really interesting. I have really, really enjoyed demoing and I've learned a lot about it and I've learned a lot and I have a lot more, I mean I had a ton of respect already and now I just have like a mega ton of express. So, yeah. Um, yeah. taking pictures right in front of my and it's pretty funny. Also, there's a group cosplaying as Mario Party. They're pretty awesome. They got like a boom box and sunglasses and they like jam everywhere. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's it. I'm wheeling away. Oh my goodness. It's uh, 620, 630 something and yeah. We're done. Twitch is disassembling. Uh, this is our booth and, you know, my clothes for like a week. So yeah, I'm out of here. That was awesome. Time to go do other things. I'll leave a comic card. Very comfortable chairs. Hi, Hunter. Hey. Thanks for surprising me. <laughs> We're at Kirby Lane. <laughs> Which is like, I'm like, I'm gonna ask go to Kirby Lane. I got my eggplant and tattoo and they still have it. I'm very excited. It's like a hummus pita pizza. Yeah. Got the world's largest shepherd. Uh, oh. No, I'm not. I'm not getting into a new hobby. Mm -hmm. Nope. Guess where I am. We, uh, Went to Kirby's Lane, we had deliciousness. They got me a hot tea to go, because they love me, slash took pity on me. Uh, and now we're at Dragon Lair, because games, and Sarah, and things. So, I like just came from a massive con show, and I'm like, ooh, nerd things. I think we're also gonna play some games uh, here, and things, until I basically can no longer be conscious. Yep. This is so funny. They have TVs up in the top, and I just look up, and it's Kyle and Michael talking about the game that they designed. Way over there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm really bummed I can't see Kyle this trip, but it just doesn't work. So, the orange hoodie in the back of all my videos.
No fake splash. Ooh. You know, I didn't like the anime Attack on Titan, but I might could stand the manga. So, a number is going to get drawn. You auction it off. Uh, if you pass, you can't re enter the auction. Um, Game. Apparently we're playing a game called The Game of 49. It is from Breaking Games, which is a new publisher. I don't actually know if it's from it's Breaking ad, Games. It's Ad something? AdWords is the manufacturer. Breaking Games is a new publisher by the same person. Blew my mind. Just like how Ascension is sent by the same designer. <laughs> <laughs> Three. You can have it. I don't know if that's good. But I'm taking it. So I get my thing on 30, oh, uh, I get my, 36. not thing, my token on 36. Yes. Sick. Yeah, we don't want to just put his thing on the game. It's his game, but we still don't want it. No, no one wants that. <laughs> There's paper money. Hunter won. <laughs> it's, it's funny, it's addicting. There's paper money, which is annoying. It's really annoying. Tell us more, Hunter. It's super annoying. Hey, not about this. the game, not the... Oh, the game's fun. It's it's like Connect 4, but there's an actual game to it other than just dropping the tiles. You have to actually bid. It's a simple mechanic, just auctioning, but it's it's fun. There's enough variety with the uh, getting extra money and stuff and like how far you're going to push it before you're going to be able to replenish your money. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's kind of like giant tic-tac-toe. Four, or no, it's like giant four in a row, but with bidding. Would play again with poker chips and more sleep. And more people. Oh, I don't know about that. Fair. How'd you like, Philip? I liked it. Uh, other than the paper money, of course, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, also, the chips are really a similar color. The orange and the red are just like super close. It's really annoying. Uh, definitely a colorblind issue, for sure.